Okay, in this video, I just want to show you a shield that I have found that fits on the Arduino Uno, like this one here, that comes in very handy. Now, I made a video on how to build a bare bone circuit using that Mega 320p microcontroller, like this one here. So I would pull out this one out of the socket, insert this one, program it, and take it out and build a bare bone circuit. And I'll play a bit of that video. Now I'm using the internal 8 MHz oscillator, so there's no external crystal, or there's no low capacitors. The reset pin, which is pin 1, has an internal pull-up to uh, VCC, but you could put an external 10K to VCC if you want. So I have some code uh, programmed into the chip, so I'll add some power. And you can see I have two LEDs connected to the GPIO pins, and it runs a little wigwag uh, program. So it's auto boot, so it auto resets. It's power on reset when I apply power, and my my uh, uh, program runs. It's a turnkey program, so it powers up every time we uh, put power to the circuit. Okay, so now you can see it's a hassle. Every time I want to program a new Atmega 320p microcontroller from my bare bone circuit, I have to take this one out of the socket, uh, put this one in, program it take it out and put this original one back in. So what I've done, I have a shield. It has a ZIF socket. It's a zero insertion force socket. So I take the original chip out of the UNO, place it in here, then put the shield on top of the UNO. So now I have a UNO that has a ZIF socket, so it's easy to take the chip in and out. Okay, I removed the microcontroller from the UNO board and plugged it into the ZIF socket on my shield and plugged a shield into my UNO board. I got my UNO board uh, powered up through my USB uh, cable. And you can see there's a cutout on the shield, so you can see the pin 13 LED and it's blinking. And there's the RX and TX LEDs. And there's the power LED, there's a cutout for the power LED. Uh, there's my 16 megahertz crystal and the two capacitors. And the pin headers are the same footprint as the UNO, so we can plug in another shield. And I have my reset button on the top left is still access to it. And my ICSP 6-pin connector is right here. So now I could plug in my new microcontroller, my bare bones microcontroller. And I could program the fourth operating system using my AVR programmer. And then uh, uh, remove it from the ZIF socket and plug it into my breadboard. Now this shield is available from Universal Solder. It's a Canadian company. It's only about $7. And you can get it online. Uh, I'll put a link in the description box. So that's my little setup on how to do my bare bones programming to make it very easy with a shield with a ZIF socket.